Welcome. Today we're checking out an interview of Baby Metal for Scuzz TV. Let's get it. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Baby Metal on record. The girls from Baby Metal join me on the show. Konnichiwa, girls. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming on. Uh, we had you on very briefly at Download Festival. Uh, you join us today. We're going to talk about the new album, Metal Resistance, in detail. I'm very excited to learn all about it. Um, before we get into the record, the world tour, and everything else the Fox God has in store, um, just a couple of questions to get to know you a little bit better. If that's okay. So first of all, who was the singer that made each of you want to become a singer in the first place? Metallica. Metallica. Hetfield. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. That's three. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, um, what bands right now are you listening to? Are there any sort of new contemporary mm -hmm. rock bands that you enjoy? Bring Me The Horizon. Bring Me The Horizon? Okay. Interesting. Is that across the board as well? Or I haven't heard new Bing Marine, yeah. Bring yeah. Me the Horizon. Bring Me. Yeah. I could see a Baby Metal Bring Me the Horizon tour down the road. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, uh, they'd be excited. He's watching. He's been on the show. I'll put in a word. <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing about the UK? The UK seems to have taken Baby Metal into their hearts. Um, what do you like about the country? So, ですね、イギリスの好きなところはたくさんあるんですけど、本当に街だったりとか、人の温かさとかすごく感じているんですけど、何よりもイギリスのお客さんがすごく温かいなっていうイメージがあって、私たちがイギリスでライブをするときって、
and just the emotions really that were going through your heads. Um, being in uh, such a sacred ground, um, headlining it and just kind of playing your music to so many people and seeing the reaction of, of all these loving, passionate fans. そうですね横浜アリーナは小さい頃からよくライブを見に行っていた場所だったので自分たちが実際にそこでステージに立てたことはすごく光栄なことだったしあとは、えっと、2日目の一番最後に披露した「THEONE」では会場をゴンドラに乗ってぐるっと一周したんですけどその時に上からお客さんの顔が見えて皆さんすごく笑顔で歌いながら狐さんを掲げてくださってみんなが一つになる瞬間だったりとか。やっぱり2016年が始まるきっかけ私たちのそうですねなんか本当に皆さんからパワーをもらったなって皆さんのそのパワーをもらって今ここに来れてるんだなっていうふうに思うからすごく貴重なそしてなんか素敵なライブでしたね。Well, congratulations first of all on not being terrified.、Um, I'm afraid of heights and I've seen the footage in the triangle and they're suspended very high. <笑> Um, and if that was me, I'd have been going, get me out, get me out. So、um, well done for being brave.、Um, and I guess I'd really like to know the response to that new song and the importance of that one song in particular, maybe lyrically, thematically,、um, for the new album, The Metal Resistance, in terms of the message of that one song and maybe you know, the,、uh, the overriding thread of that album and how the one ties it all together. So- yeah, it's, it's, it's funny that it brings up. You know, scared of heights. It brings up like the、uh, my image of Spinal Tap <laughs> being trapped up high. <laughs> so, this is the Zawan, which is a world tour. The Zawan is a word that 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 is a みんなが一つになることができるんだなって国境の壁だったりとかそういうジャンルの壁とかを越えてみんなが一つになることができる音楽の力っていうのをすごく感じていてあとは私たちにしかできない音楽があるんだなっていうのを感じたのでやっぱりこの「ザワンっていう言葉そしてこの「ザワンっていう曲はこれから私たちがツアーを回っていく中ですごく大切な言葉になってくると思うし。うん、とこの今回の曲で初めて英語詞にも挑戦したのでみんなで歌える曲ができたなと思ってすごく嬉しいです。Um, so we've talked about the last song on the album. I wonder if we could go to the start and talk about the first song,、uh, The Road of Resistance, which features your friends in Dragon Force.、Um, tell me why you chose to lead off the album campaign with this song when you played it for the first time at Brixton at the end of 2014, and also、um, why you chose to lead the album off with that song and what the song means. To the album and indeed to you personally. Hi, it's a road of resistance. Wa, it's a nakin is to Sunday to the B metal to the B metal link is that to the more powerful the Tikarazu I took me not the mass. It's a console de wa, Okexanto, Singer Long, Celebrant, the Okexanto, it take on screen, Kokoro Stetni, the Kiri and the Kiki not the no de, Otastin to the Totemo Taisit and the Kiki. Karate. Did I read that wrong? Is that what that song's about? Being that the, the road of resistance of、uh, you know, music and the language barrier and everything, maybe I just misunderstood that. That's really cool if it is. Hmm. <laughs> Also, it's really nice to hear these other two women sing, or、uh, not sing, but、uh, talk and come out of the shell. They look older than some of the shows that I've you know, watched, and it's nice to see them grown up. Really cool. Karate. 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 The next single. Yeah.、Um, <laughs> Kind of like chuggy, groovy, very different musically、mm. to the one and the Road of Resistance. And I think that's what a lot of people love about your band is all your songs sound very different. There's lots of different genres and styles going on from pop to metal to electronica. We'll talk about some of the other、uh, sub genres of metal that you explore later in the album as well.、Um, but just, I guess, tell me about some of the styles which you enjoy perhaps singing. 
and choreographing dance routines to the most because there is so much to play with with these album, uh, albums. So which kind of area of the baby metal sound do you perhaps enjoy the most? はい、えっと、その体には例に始まり例に終わるという心得があるんですよ。この心得は日本人としても Great video. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I guess it's almost like a performance as well. You take the bow, do the routine, and then say thank you and, mm. and good night. I just hope that people bow before they go into the mosh pits. <laughs> <laughs> take care of each other in the pits. Um, another song which was very interesting to me, Meta Taro. This was almost like a kind of Viking mm. battle metal song. Um, and then there was Cis Anger, like kind yeah. of death metal. Um, so it's, it's a very, very heavy album. I wonder if you could talk to me about your experience with heavy music and whether perhaps part of the journey of this band has been discovering um, heavy music and really exploring it and, and really your personal experience on that journey and how much you've enjoyed learning and indeed writing and playing heavy metal music in all its w weird and wonderful forms. そうですね、最初メタルを知った頃はメタルってすごく早いし、なんか激しいし、怖い音楽だなっていう風に思ってたんですけど、でも今思うことはメタルってすごく心に打つもの、心に響くものがある音楽だなっていう風に感じていて、
前向きな言葉が多いなっていうふうに思ってるんですけど例えば「ロード・オブ・レジスタンス」の中にあるくじけて「くじけても何度でも心の炎を燃やせ」とか本当に諦めない心がすごく諦め,諦めないでっていうような歌詞がたくさん詰まっているかなっていうふうに思っています。うん、あので、まあ、それにプラスして、うん、と結構音楽も前回よりもすごく激しくなっている音楽激しい音楽がすごく多いなっていうふうに思っているのでなんか特に本当にドラムの私も「ロード・オブ・レジスタンス」とかをライブで歌っているとよくドラムだったりとかギターの音とかにもすごく背中を押されてやっぱ歌詞にもすごく強い意味がたくさんこもっているので本当に聴いて元気になれるような曲明るく前向きになれるような曲が多いです。Greatest hits collection of everything you'd written up until that point in time, whereas Metal Resistance sounds a lot more, and from what you've been saying, perhaps is a lot more of an album in the traditional sense that there's an, a thematical thread, but also that it's a body of work that stands as something with a start and a middle and an end, and it's one kind of cohesive statement. Hi, I also feel so. 前回のアルバムはどちらかというとベビーメタルを象徴するものだったなって私たちは考えてるんですけどだから<笑> That's a good way of putting it. The first album is like a business card. Like, check out, check out our music. <笑> really cool. 前回のアルバムは私たちの名刺代わりっていうふうに呼んでるんですけど今回のアルバムは私たちの成長過程が本当に見ていただけてる。見ていただけるものなんじゃないかなって思っていますいろんなことに挑戦して身長とか声も成長して私たちの成長がたくさん詰まっているものなのでそうやって言って,言っていただけてとても嬉しいです um, I imagine a lot of the songs haven't been performed live so with Wembley coming up this weekend which songs are you perhaps most looking forward to introducing to the UK fans? 一番早く見てほしいのはメタメタ太郎です振り付けがとっても可愛くてみんなで踊れるような振り付けばっかりなのでぜひみんな一緒にやって心一つになれたらいいなと思いますうんとそうですね私が一番好きな曲は「泡玉フィーバー」がすごく好きで「泡玉フィーバー」の曲自体もすごく可愛いんですけど振り付けもすごく可愛いし。あとはまあお客さんと一緒にシンガーロングできる部分も曲の中には入っているのでなのでみんなで一緒に歌って踊って盛り上がれたらいいなって思います<笑>はい、えー、と私はまだ振りもついていなくて本当にどうなるのか想像つかないんですけど「From Dusk t i l Dawn」すごいみんなの前で披露するのを楽しみにしていますこの曲はあの海外限定版のアルバムにしか入っていないんですけど、まあ、海外だからこそ通じる音楽なのかなって思うので、海外で歌って踊ってどんな反応が来るのかすごい楽しみにしています。That's a fun track. It reminds me a little bit of Bring Me the Horizon. It's got similar、yeah. textures.、Mm. Perfect for when you do your joint tour. <laughs>、um, after Wembley, what happens? Where to next? What does the so they must have a <clears throat> what's it called?、Um, like a translator explaining what the girl said, what the guy said. And、uh, going back and forth. So that's cool. He, he will get the chance to understand what they're saying. And it's not just him asking questions and then them answering and him having no idea what they said. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm glad、um, they did Wembley, that. Wembley, what happens? Where to next? What does the Fox God say? <laughs> so, this is Wembley Arena. I'm going to go to America, and then Europe. Well, they understand him. So they understand the English.、Um, obviously, they're more comfortable in their native language. So the translator will probably translate what she's saying to him. Where to next? What does the fox god say? <laughs> そうですね、ウェンブリーアリーナが終わった後はアメリカだったりとかまたヨーロッパもツアーを回ることができるのでこれからいろんなところに行けるのですごく楽しみです。It's going to be a busy, busy year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you could tell us a bit about your relationship with America.、Um, it seems like the UK loves you.、Um, how has the American relationship developed over the last couple of years? Have they kind of had the baby metal fever in the same way as the UK? 
はいえっとアメリカのファンの人は私たちのポップな音楽が好きな人が多いんじゃないかなと思うんですけどだから例えば「いいね」とか「泡玉フィーバー」とかそういう私たちのポップな要素が詰まっている音楽が好きな方が多くてでも海外の人みんなに共通するのがスメタルの歌を一緒に歌ってくれるんですよだからそんなポップの歌をどうやってみんなが歌うのかなって想像するだけでとてもワクワクします。In terms of eating on the road, how do you maintain a healthy diet? Because everyone I know who plays in bands, when they're on tour, all they eat is crisps and junk food. So、uh, my question to you is, do you manage to still eat healthily when you're on the road, or do you just binge on pizza the whole time?、Mm. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> えっと私たちはいつもその国に行ったらその現地のおすすめのものとか美味しいものを食べて。いつもパワーをつけてからライブに向かってます。Um, I guess same five years time. Where do you see Baby Metal? What's the long term hopes, goals, dreams for this band?、うん、そうですね。と私たちはこうやってツアーを回っていく中で、自分たちの音楽って本当に自分たちにしかできない音楽があるんだなっていうことに気がついたので、これからも。自分たちにしかできないことをたくさんしていて道なき道を突き進んでいって一つずつ壁を破っていっていつかはベビーメタルっていう新しいジャンルを作りたいなっていうふうに思ってるんですけどそうですね本当に2年前は2年前初めて海外に来た時は本当にここまで来れるとは思ってなかったので5年後の自分がどうなってるのか全然想像できないですね。Only the fox got the nose. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows everything, right? Yeah. He is a wise fox.、Um, thanks so much for coming on the show.、Um, congratulations on the first album. So far, it's been a raging success. I know our album number two is going to take you even further. Wembley, of course, is going to be massive. Good luck. Not that you'll need it.、Um, I hope you enjoy every second.、Um, I guess finally, we should mention this world tour is going to end. At the Tokyo Dome,、yeah. right? Which, if people are watching this aren't aware, is a, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, 55,000 capacity venue in Tokyo. That's where this tour is going to end. I mean, that is like, wow.、Um, <laughs> how are you feeling about that? Yeah, we still can't believe that. Yeah? Yeah. Huge, huge on. 55,000 people. <laughs> That's got to be nerve wracking. Ah. Yeah, we still can't believe that. Yeah? Yeah. Huge, huge honor, right?、Yeah. I mean, that's as big as it gets, right? <laughs> Baby Metal, congratulations on everything. Good luck with everything to follow.、Um, and thanks for coming on the show. And I guess we should just do one of them, right? Thanks for tuning in. See you. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Very cool. Man, that was nice. It's, it's nice to see them like out of their normal, you know, natural habitat of baby metal.、And、it's nice to hear their voices, especially the two、uh, dancers, backup singers. Yeah. Let me know what interview to check out next or song. I'm here for it. Please show the like and subscribe button some love. Stay cheesy, my friends.